Y'all are in bed with me right now. Today's video comes in three parts. Part one, my favorite quote. My favorite quote is by Douglas Adams. I may not have gone where I intended to go, but I think I've ended up where I needed to be. I definitely did not end up where I intended to go. At the same time, I think right now where I am is pretty much the perfect place for me. I don't think I should be anywhere else. I really, I, I cling to that quote. It makes me, it's a good reminder when things are tough, when things are hard, that it's all okay right now. Part two, a brief history of Katie. I started on my path, my intended path, um, you know, after high school, leaving high school, and I thought I had it all figured out. I was going to go to college for four years, get a degree. Um, at the time, it was going to be a degree in chemistry, and then I was going to become a forensic detective and, you know, be like a CSI. I knew it wasn't exactly like CSI, but I was going to do stuff like that, and I was going to have a great time, and maybe I'd get recruited by the FBI and join the X-Files. I was in a lab, and I'm, you know, doing the experiment, and I'm not getting the reaction. I'm not getting it at all. I'm like, what is going on? And I realized I've mixed the wrong chemicals together. <laughs> but at that moment, I was kind of like, ooh, do you really want me in a lab? And I was also starting to remember why after 10th grade I'd said, ah, no more chem ever again, thanks. So I, I realized that as much as I thought forensic science was awesome and cool, I just didn't have the focus or desire to put up with four years of chem classes. So I, I eventually ended up leaving that college after a little bit just because of stuff. We don't need to get into the stuff right now, but there was stuff and I left. And I tried to go back to a local university here and I did that for a couple of semesters, but it never really took. And I know now looking back, I was so not ready for college. Basically, I still don't have a degree, and it makes me sad, and I want one. But at the same time, I don't think I would have gotten the right degree back then. I would have, you know, just poked around. If I'd stuck with it, I would have poked around and found something that I didn't really love because I didn't know myself well enough back then. Part three, what I want to be when I grow up. I think the first thing I can remember wanting to be was a teacher. I like being able to go up to someone who doesn't know something and say, ba 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 and they can say, wow, now I know it. About eighth grade, I got into ancient Egypt. I got into ancient Egypt like, whoa. And I was going to be an Egyptologist, not just an archaeologist. I mean, archaeology is great. Archaeology is awesome. But that was just too broad for me. I want to be an Egyptologist. After the ancient Egypt Egyptologist phase that started up the um, next after that was the I'm going to be a forensic chemist phase and after that I really didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up. Now I know what I want to be when I grow up. I want to be a writer. I didn't really focus in on that until really the last year. So if you have time in your videos let me know what you wanted to be when you grow up. <laughs> well you're right Allie that is fun. Ha ha ha!